89.9 The Wave, Marvin Gaye, let's get it on. It's 819, increasing cloud, a high of minus 1. It's still minus 10 here in downtown Halifax. So bundle up as you uh, head off to work, to school, or wherever you may be going today. Uh, Bill here along with Rick and the rest of the Breakfast Show crew. We uh, posted something on Facebook earlier today that's getting some mixed reaction and somewhat surprising. But yeah. I guess it takes a little bit of thought. Uh, the Durham Regional Police, which is based in the Oshawa area. Right, just uh, east of Toronto. That's right. Uh, you'll find names of drivers charged after being stopped at ride checkpoints. That's reduced impaired driving everywhere. So pretty much you go to their website and they show you the names of the people that have been busted for drinking and driving. And you think to yourself, when you, when you first think about it, you think, yeah, what a great idea. Oh, However, yeah. uh, a lot of Canadians don't like this. A recent poll of over 1,200 Canadians shows that almost 60% are against this. So we're asking everybody this morning on Facebook and email, uh, read the story. What do you think? Is it worth something uh, doing something like this here in HRM? Um, just under 70% are for it, but over 30% are against it hmm. here in HRM. Wow. It's like, well, that makes some good points. I guess they say it's an invasion of privacy. And we brought up the argument earlier that what if the breathalyzer was malfunctioning? Right. And the, and the, the, the suspect, the alleged drinking dri yeah. drinking driver, uh, hasn't had their day in court yet. There's, there's that true. argument. That's true. And I know, and you also go saying as far as to say, well, you shouldn't have any alcohol in your system, period. And that's true. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Uh, but, you know, the laws are there uh, for a reason. We have to abide by them. But right. if... Uh, you know, if it's you, you also said this when uh, sex offenders are in your neighborhood. Oh yeah, yeah. They they publish their name. Of course, they've been convicted. Now, I'm not saying that a sex offender is in the same basket as somebody who just had maybe uh, that sip of wine too many mm -hmm. and is driving home and feels fine. Right. By no means. It's just the whole, you know, subject of the whole thing. Right. It's a crime. Do you post it and such? Some great comments on our Facebook page. But uh, you know, when is it a right time? You know, to drink and drive. Well, did you hear about that case last week? It was a local case. Mm -hmm. A judge actually let somebody off for drinking and driving. It's, and, and why? What's well, this? what happened? It was uh, two gentlemen were over at an apartment yeah. having a few drinks. One guy goes outside to have a smoke. He fell down the stairs and smashed his head really bad. His friend comes running out. His friend had also been drinking. Mm -hmm. They got locked out of the apartment, no keys to get in there, no cell phone, no chance to notify anybody, and his friend is, like, bleeding pretty yeah. bad. So the judge uh, accepted it, the defense of necessity because his friend drove his friend yeah. to hospital after he'd had a few. And he was over the legal limit. Yes. Now, okay, you said when he was in an apartment building. Mm -hmm. I'd be banging on other doors. I guess it might have been, it was, like, in the middle of the night. Wow, yeah, see, and they, they just had no way of notifying anybody, and, and I don't know, I guess there wasn't a 24-hour convenience store around or something like that, yeah. you know, where you could go in there and say, hey, can you do me a favor and call me a cab wow. or something, but wow. yeah, I mean, the judge specifically said, I am not condoning drinking and driving at all, mm -hmm. but yeah, that was a local case, uh, uh, Daryl had it on the news last week. Crazy. Oh, see, I napped during Daryl's news. <laughs> Don't tell Daryl that. No, I'm kidding. Daryl, sit down. <laughs> sit down, Daryl. He's coming after you, oh, Big Bill. Geez. I can outrun him, though. <laughs> nah, I'm not worried. Hey, feel free to read the story that we posted on our 899 The Way Facebook page and chime in how you feel about this. Do you think we should publicly announce those who get pulled over and are found to be guilty of drinking and driving? Let us know what you think.